we're walking to Fish House at the Intercon in Festival City. All right, so here we are at the Intercontinental in Festival City, and we are about to go down the escalator to go into Fish House. Come on in. Hello, hostess. Please seat us. We're hungry. Such a great open layout. They actually have sayadiyah here, and I didn't know that they made this kind of cuisine. I'm glad that they actually incorporated an Arabic dish into their menu. Open space with lots of tables, um, very earth colors, you know, lots of fish on display. And one of the things I really loved about this place is that the kitchen is completely open so you could see your food being made. They also have steaks and they have other things on the menu so if you're not a seafood fan, you can definitely still come here. They do have a full bar, so if you're into cocktails or wine, they actually serve really good drinks here. I uh, tried the, the New Zealand wine, and it was a Sauvignon Blanc, and it was amazing. Uh, we got seated outside so we could see the fountain. I didn't know that there was a fountain in uh, Festival City, and I'm so happy that I actually came and got to experience all of this. Some white bait appetizer. This is the smoked octopus and it's actually very interesting when you see it on the table because you, there's a lot of smoke that comes out. We also ordered this lovely cold seafood platter that has scallops and lobsters and prawns as well. So this is the highlight of the night. Basically they have these amazing fish that they bring out and they light them on fire. Apparently the fish is in salt and so they put something on top of that and then they light it up. Oh, there it is, on fire. It's just for like five seconds, so don't get too excited. So this is a whole fish that's wrapped in uh, salt. Uh, the salt is there to preserve it and give it a lot of flavor. You can get pretty much any kind of fish that you want, but we ordered the sea bass and the hamur fish. I personally don't really like hamur, but the sea bass was very, very, very good. It's extremely tender and you really don't need to even put any lemon or any garlic or anything like that on it. So you can get your food grilled, baked, fried, any way you want it. Here we are making a little bit of dessert. Actually, this was not a little bit of dessert. This was a lot of dessert. The chef comes to your table and he makes this amazing masterpiece in front of you. Um, I can't even begin to tell you all the flavors that are there. I know that there was chocolate and I know uh, there was fluffy stuff. I honestly didn't know half of the stuff that was going on, but it was so good and I really, really enjoyed it. So thank you for watching this video and please subscribe.